Hi, this is Ed. I hope you all are having a good day today. Uh, I hope this video uploads. I've been trying to get this video done for the last couple of days and had some trouble uploading. So um, I'm going to talk today about deliverance, you know, deliverance from uh, mainly from addictions and from bad habits. But uh, this can also apply to healing as well, both physically and emotionally. And I'm going to say a prayer in a little bit, but first I wanted to share a few thoughts with you that, that I had written down uh, concerning deliverance. Um, first of all, you know, many say prayers for physical healing, which is good. We should definitely do that. But I find that sometimes some neglect the emotional and they just pray for the physical healing. And the emotional is just as important and sometimes even more important. You know, for, for you know, if somebody's severely depressed and they just can't break out of it, uh, that's that's a terrible thing. You know, it, it affects every area of their life. And also, uh, some of these addictions, some of these addictions can take you to hell. And that is very serious, you know. Um, Therefore, I, I believe some of these can be even more important, these emotional type of, of problems, as opposed to the physical. But I'm going to include all in the prayer that I pray. Um, our emotions affect our behavior, and there are some addictions and bad habits that, again, that can lead us to hell if they're unrepented of. The battlefield is in our mind. Jesus said that it is better to enter into heaven with one eye rather than having two eyes and be cast into hell. The lust of the eyes can take you to hell. And it will do so if, if you're addicted to pornography or, or fornication or what, what, adultery, whatever, you know, any type of sexual sin. If it's unrepented of, if you, you habitually practice these things if you, and don't repent of them, it will take you to hell. So that, that's very serious. Um, and there's many calling themselves Christians today that are addicted to pornography. And the Lord is very displeased with this. Um, many of us have either have presently have or have had addictions or bad habits which can be fatal consequences if they are not overcome. Ephesians 5.5 5 says that no fornicator, nor unclean person, nor covetous, which means greedy, nor idolaters will enter into heaven. This is a very serious statement here. There are some addictions and bad habits that may fall into the category of uncleanness. So we need to be very careful of how we spend our time. Are you focusing on the things of the world, or are you focusing on Christ? He can save you from your addictions, from your bad habits. He can heal your body if you're suffering from physical affliction. He can supply your needs if you're financially strapped. Jesus can do it all for you today. 2 Corinthians 7.1 says we are to cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of flesh and walk in holiness in the fear of God. The scriptures also tell us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Romans 6.14 says that sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but grace. This provided that you are a born-again believer. And this is not a license to sin. Now, many today teach that because we have grace, it's a license to sin. But Paul also says in Romans, shall we continue in sin so that grace should abound? He says, God forbid. Grace empowers us to be free from our sins, free from our addictions, from our bad habits. And walking in the Spirit is very important as well. That's what it says in Galatians 5.16. It says, if we walk in the Spirit, then we will not fulfill 
the lust of the flesh. Do not let any addictions or bad habits take you to hell. Because again, if they're unrepented of, they certainly can and will. The Lord delivered me from cigarettes, from alcohol, and from drugs. I didn't have this immediately after I came to the Lord for salvation. It took a little period of time, but eventually the Lord delivered me from all of these things. And He can do the same for you. He is no respecter of persons. He wants to deliver you today from whatever it is you need to be delivered from. Fall in love with Jesus like never before. The closer you get to the Lord Jesus, the more you become like Him the more his image be, becomes imparted into your life. That is the key. And again, walking in the Spirit. So now I'm going to say a prayer. Uh, just agree with me in this prayer. And I do believe some of you will be delivered today. And uh, some it may take a little time, but that's okay. Uh, many receive their deliverance at a later time. It doesn't happen instantly for a lot of people, although some do get it that way. But the point is that you believe and that you truly desire to be set free. Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord God. Thank you for all these people who are watching this video. I ask, Lord God, that you would move upon their hearts, draw them unto repentance, those that need to repent of any sin in their lives, Ask, Lord, that you would open their hearts to receive their deliverance. Now, thank you, Father. Thank you for delivering those that are addicted to different things, Lord, and those that have bad habits that are taking them down the wrong path. I ask that you heal those that are in need of physical healing today, that you would bring finances to those that are in lack that you would set the captives free today. I speak to all addictions and bad habits now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and command you to go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you for setting the captives free. And we give you praise and glory and honor, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, praise God. I do believe some of you have been set free. Again, I've had much difficulty making this video, so I, I know it's because the enemy didn't want it getting out there. But Jesus is the one who set you free. So until next time, keep looking up. Jesus is coming soon. Bye-bye.